All right, welcome back to the channel. Warhammer Man back in the studio with another completed commission. Uh, today we have our Adepta Sororitas, Sisters of Battle. And uh, this is the Order of the Sacred Rose. Uh, so the traditional color scheme of the Order of the Sacred Rose is our white power armor uh, with the black cloaks or cloth and then the uh, red underside of the cloth. Uh, lots of silver and gold uh, accents. Uh, as well as uh, some of the other uh, colors that you see standing out here. And these are all positioned on our custom-made uh, ruined temple-style bases uh, using all Games Workshop components, and then obviously like some little bits of rubble, sand, and uh, Games Workshop tufts as well. So uh, now in this army, it is led by St. Celestine herself uh, with the two Gemini bodyguards. And then we have five of our Seraphim, including a Seraphim Superior with Power Weapon and Plasma Pistol. And then we also have one Penitent Engine. Uh, and then we have a squad of 10 Battle Sisters, or two squads of five, uh, including our standard, a Stormbolter, Flamer, and of course a Superior with Chainsword. Uh, and then we also have a squad of four Repentia, with a Repentia Superior, or uh, like the Mistress, that leads them. And then finally we have a Canoness and three Arco Flagellants. Uh, so you'll notice this is basically the components from our, our combat patrol, but instead of the Rhino transport, uh, we have Celestine and her uh, Gemini uh, giving us two HQs and a little more uh, hitting power um, in lieu of a tank. So uh, let's take a closer look at our uh, units today. All right, so just to get started here, we have St. Celestine herself. I uh, will notice that we gave her like the blue glowing eyes. And then some Tesseract Glow for the uh, sword. Uh, we've used some contrast paints for the doves and the uh, parchment. And uh, overall, uh, the gold main color uh, with the like black, silver, and uh, you know some other highlight colors as well. Uh, she is magnetized, so her wings are removable. And then obviously our focus is on the black cloth uh, with the red underside. And then, uh, you know, making the base look as realistic as possible. Bear with me, it's uh, very difficult to make her not bounce all over the place because of her uh, fancy mounting parchments. Uh, one of my absolute favorite models. I uh, love this model. And then, obviously, uh, magnetizing the wings is a huge plus, in my opinion. Uh, being able to transport them separately uh, makes it much more uh, safe and secure uh, as well as just like the ease of movement and then uh, being able to just like put her in a case now as well with the wings it's almost impossible great model definitely one of my favorites and then next we have the first of the uh, gemini again very similar uh, color scheme Got a little Tesseract Glow on the sword there. Uh, magnetized backpack. The overall gold armor. Uh, so that they do stand out amongst like the Seraphim and the rest of the army. Uh, kind of like giving them their status. And then like black gloves and uh, cloth. And then the red underside uh, with some nice highlights and everything. I've used uh, Gilliman Flash for the uh, face there. And then overall it's a uh, lead belcher and retributor armor for the uh, base metallics. Again, the uh, look and quality of these sculpts is fantastic. And then obviously I uh, magnetized the backpacks uh, for the Seraphim as well uh, for ease of transport. Definitely less necessary than with Celestine, but uh, you know, if you're going to do one, you might as well do the other two. And next we have the other of the Gemini Superior. Uh, so here we have the, the sister. Again, very similar, different sculpt, but overall uh, same thing. Some nice highlights. Uh, on the metallics as well as uh, you know the cloth and then obviously using some of the contrast paints for like the white hair a uh, little bit of different shades some of our games workshop washes and of course the uh, tesseract glow on the sword such great models and we can take a look at this chunky boy next uh, here we have our penitent engine uh, you know basically a human that they have strapped to this machine that gets to control this big beefy machine as it runs down the battlefield. 
uh, sawing things in half, chopping up vehicles, and flamethrowing anything in its path. Uh, it's got a pretty cool look to it. Definitely a unique war engine to the uh, Sisters of Battle. Tons and tons of detail. Uh, very, very cool overall. Absolutely stunning model. And once again, on one of our custom Ruin Temple style bases. Loaded with details on this thing. You could literally paint it forever. And we can take a look at our Cannon S next. Uh, she is equipped with the uh, rod and power sword. Uh, obviously has an eye patch, which is pretty cool. Um, and a bionic leg. So she has seen quite a bit of battle. Uh, once again, on one of our Ruin Temple style bases. Uh, tons and tons of intricate detail on this model, as well as like the uh, little gold bits on the cloth, uh, like the hanging down bits in front of her with the sensors, and uh, you know, very cool model. This one again is the uh, like what was limited edition or only available in the uh, special edition or combat patrol set. A uh, very very nice model, loaded with detail, and I like to use uh, this one because it gives you some diversity with the cannon S's. All right, and next we have the Repenta Superior, a Repentia Superior. Uh, now she is armed with like her book at her side and her flaming backpack, as well as a couple of these awesome whips uh, to uh, keep the Repentia motivated. Uh, you can see her helmet is strapped to her side there. And again, this model is like loaded with detail. A uh, big fan of this model overall. Although that uh, whip is definitely a danger zone for uh, being careful not to break this thing in transport. As it is big and all over the place. Uh, so for the realistic looking uh, fire on the brazers. Uh, we've used a combination of Citadel contrast paints. As well as some of our traditional paints to go from like a bright interior. Uh, to get like slowly darker to represent like the smoke as it gets away from like the burning. Uh, very very nice model. Pretty freaking cool. And then she uh, buffs up the Repentia as well, makes them better in game terms. So these girls are hard hitting uh, with their two handed chain swords. Uh, these things can, the eviscerators can literally like cleave vehicles, space marines, or anything else for that matter in half. Uh, they are a glass cannon though, uh, obviously running around with no armor, and in this case, no ability to see, uh, just trusting in the faith of the Emperor. Uh, you can see also our custom bases and how cool they have come out. Uh, with the little bits of rubble, the tufts, and then, uh, you know, obviously these are loaded with details as well. And here we have the next of the Repentia. Uh, again, this one holding her sword uh, a little bit differently, but in two hands. Uh, no armor, and then she's got like the hood over her face. Uh, there's a couple of the uh, different sculpts that comes in the box set. And then they offer some options for the heads as well. So new, no two need to be the same. Uh, but these girls are blessed by the Emperor, ready to dish out a beatdown for sure. And I love like the action poses and how actively and aggressively uh, they look. And here is the next of the Repentia. Uh, loaded up uh, like with lock and key and like their metallic bits all over them. Uh, this one's got like some cool chains with uh, like rosaries on the end of them. And then obviously they're all pinned up with a bunch of, uh, you know, blessings and texts from the Emperor. Uh, like in lieu of armor, they just have tons and tons of other cool details. Uh, all over them as well. And finally our last of the sisters Repentia. Uh, and we did uh, vary up the skin tones as you may have noticed. Uh, using the Citadel contrast paints. Uh, wild wood for like the uh, chocolate or like dark brown um, on this one. And then a combination of like Gulliman flesh. As well as uh, Fire Slayer flesh I believe it was on uh, one of the other ones. Uh, to give like some real life variants to them. And then especially for the uh, same sculpts, I uh, made sure to alternate like the red and black on some of their clothing. And then obviously the uh, available heads as well. And next we have our Arco Flagellants. Uh, we'll notice again we have varied up the uh, flesh tone to make sure that even though we have uh, similar sculpts that they look different. And again different head options available. Uh, these bad boys are very cool. Again uh, hit like a glass cannon. Hit very hard uh, but very fragile in game terms. Uh, but very, very cool models. And once again, extremely aggressive looking stance and sculpt. Uh, big fan of these. The Sisters of Battle range is absolutely phenomenal.
and the next of our arco flagellants and um, they do have like male and female sculpts uh, for these which is very cool and then obviously once again uh, the skin tone variants and the weapon variants although they're all the same in game terms uh, they are absolutely phenomenal I definitely love the different head options and also like the injections like the stimulus or like you know drug injectors in the back to keep these girls going or guys going uh, while they advance on the field with absolutely nothing but their faith to protect them. And here's the last of the Arco flagellants. Um, again, you'll notice the variants of the uh, face, but the same pose as the first one we showed off. Uh, so again, we altered the skin tones uh, so that they don't look like uh, repeats. And I uh, absolutely just love these models. Uh, loaded up with details. And uh, until you actually like sit down and paint these, you don't even see half of the cool stuff uh, that is on them. Very, very nice models. And we can take a look at the Seraphim next. Here is our Seraphim Superior with Power Sword and Plasma Pistol. I've got that Tesseract Glow uh, for the glow effect. Obviously, they have the clear flight stands uh, so that they actually look like they're flying. Uh, these ones are not magnetized uh, due to like the stands and backpacks and everything. Uh, but overall, they mount pretty good. Uh, sometimes in transport, you have to be uh, like extra careful with these. Uh, but very, very cool models. And here's the next of our sisters, uh, Seraphim. Again, loaded up on the flying stands. Uh, so they get like that elevated look. And uh, they look particularly cool in pictures. Uh, if you don't pay attention to the actual like clear flying stand, really does look like they are popping down the battlefield. Uh, first, I was a little sketch on the uh, the style of flight stands, uh, but they do look really nice uh, once they are completed and on the battlefield. And here is the other style uh, with the uh, combat patrol box. You do get two of each of the sculpts and then the superior. Uh, you will notice that the uh, grenades are accented as well. Uh, this one uses the uh, what is it, orc flesh, I believe it is, uh, contrast paint. And then on the crack grenades, we use uh, like the blood angels red. And again, very just loaded up with details, rosaries, all sort of like fancy little bits. And then uh, we did the uh, red for the eyes, uh, like the uh, pictures in the codex show, uh, instead of like our typical like green or blue. Uh, so it kind of accents their colors, but also makes sure to stand out on the white armor. And just sort of moving down the line. Now we have our battle sisters. Uh, here is the sister superior with crack and frag grenades. Uh, and obviously has a chainsword and bolter. Uh, and uh, in this case, a uh, eye patch as well. Uh, definitely a veteran. I've used some more of the contrast paints for like the leather work and everything. And uh, obviously have some basing bits built into the models. And then uh, we've transitioned them into the custom bases and grass as well uh, to get this final effect, uh, which I am very pleased with. Great looking models. And here we have the uh, standard. Obviously she carries like a pole with the reliquary on top. Uh, with like the skulls and uh, like memorabilia to motivate her fellow sisters in battle. Uh, one of my favorite models right here. I absolutely love the standard. I love the overall look of the model. And uh, she is just loaded up with details. Uh, everything from like the wood of the banner to like the, um, you know, parchment paper and little like imperial seal on it. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal models. And this sister here armed with a storm bolter. Uh, there is a flamer as well on this kit and then a bunch of bolters also. I like the extra ammo on the back there and uh, the details. Uh, plenty of different sculpts here as well. So uh, with the option of changing out like helmeted or uh, bare head, like hel unhelmeted heads, uh, you have the option to make sure that no two sculpts look the same. And they are opposed from, uh, you know, like that strong firing stance to like a full on like sprint or run ahead uh, to give some nice variance. Uh, definitely some really, really nice models. Extremely detailed, uh, especially for like what amounts to uh, easy to build models. Just to kind of show off one of the uh, more active poses. Uh, this one clearly in like a full on sprint forward. Uh, loaded up with grenades and pouches. Uh, and all the other good stuff that a sister would need uh, to do battle. So very nice set. Uh, very happy with how everything came out. The overall sculpts of the models is phenomenal. And the uh, basing and color scheme has turned out wonderful as well. 
So there we have it, another completed commission. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe for uh, more content like this. I do everything from reaction and reviews, unboxings, and then obviously uh, lots of tutorials on how to paint, convert, and then uh, of course videos like this where we show off completed commissions before they leave the studio. Uh, and once again, this is our Adeptus Sororitas uh, Sisters of Battle. Uh, basically combat patrol, but instead of the Rhino, we have swapped out Celestine and her Gemini. Uh, nice choice in my opinion. Uh, but uh, very nice setup. This is the Order of the Sacred Rose with our Ruin Temple style bases uh, with uh, grass tufts and our nice black rims as well. So uh, this army is ready to go to battle and uh, looking forward to getting this one out the door and uh, working on our next commission. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe. Check out our other videos as well. Everything from Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar. Uh, we've got uh, Warcry, Necromunda, uh, Kill Team and uh, pretty much anything and everything Games Workshop related. I am Warhammer Man, this is Warhammer Man Studios, and I'm out of here.